Well, let's move on to the Karnataka results now, where it is clear that the Congress has won a majority on its own and is set to form the next government, the BJP losing its only southern state today. The Congress, as far as the latest leads are concerned in the 223 seats uh, that whose results are coming in today, the Congress has a clear lead in 121 of them. The BJP far behind with 39 seats and the JDS, Kumaraswamy's JDS doing very well neck and neck with the BJP at one time, in fact, leading the BJP as well. Uh, the JDS is at 38 seats. The KJP, that is a BS Yadurapa's party, has got far fewer seats, just eight of them, but he has clearly dented the v BJP's vote bank, particularly in North Karnataka, uh, where he has uh, been quite a big problem for them. So the Yadurapa factor uh, has been a factor in these elections, even though his party hasn't done that well in terms of the number of seats that have been won. The question now for the Congress party is uh, who the uh, chief minister of Karnataka will be because they have a number of people uh, who are contenders for that post. You have backward leader Mr. Siddhar Ramaya who has clearly said that he is a strong contender for the post. Union Labour Minister Malik Arjun Kharge has also been tipped as uh, a front runner, Mr. Veera Pamoyli, who's also union minister, his name has gone around. There's former foreign minister S.M. Krishna, there's Oscar Fernandez. Many names have been doing the rounds as far as the Congress is concerned. Let's listen in to what Mr. Siddharamaya, in fact, said uh, just a little while earlier, very openly saying that he is indeed a strong contender for this position. I thank Sonia Gandhi ji, I thank Rahul Gandhi ji, I thank Manmohan Gandhi ji for having come over here and campaign for the Congress party and I thank our leaders. People wanted a stable government. That is why they voted Congress party. Are you the next chief minister? No, that is left to the Congress party. I comment. But do you feel that you are a strong contender? I am, I am, one, of, I am one of the strong contenders. Well, in fact, let's uh, listen into the first uh, reactions that have come in from Central Congress leaders as well. Mr. Chidambaram spoke to reporters a little earlier and said this. We're very happy. I've seen uh, different numbers, I'm told, are on different channels. But it appears that all channels are agreed that Congress will have an absolute majority in the House. Uh, voting the Congress party is one thing, but voting it with an absolute majority means that there will be a stable government for five years. And we can now promise the people of Karnataka that we will give a stable government, a progressive government, and a hard-working government for the next five years.